<laughs> G'day guys, welcome back to the channel and happy new year. It's finally 2022 and that means we've got some awesome content coming your way from Adventure Kings. Now, as you might have guessed, we've gone out and got ourselves a new project. And that is of course, a 70 series Land Cruiser, but more specifically, a 76 series wagon. So why a 76 series, you might be asking? Well, we had a couple of reasons for that. Now we had a very specific criteria that we had to meet for the new rig, because we're spending a lot of our time out in the bush in some relatively remote places, anywhere from the beach, all the way down to the snow in the Vic High Country and out to the Simpson Desert as well. So we really needed a car that could take us to remote locations and that we could rely on, especially when we're out in the middle of nowhere testing our products. Now the first thing on that criteria was of course, it needed to be able to tow. As you've seen, I've personally taken the MT1 camper trailer to some pretty remote locations and towed it up some pretty gnarly tracks, so it needed to be able to do exactly that. Now the MT1 camper trailer, fully loaded with all of our gear, plus a full water tank, only weighs about 1500 kilos or just under, which is an absolute piece of cake for a vehicle like this. Now the second thing on the list is it had to be tough. Now these things obviously have a reputation for being some of the toughest rigs out there, which is why we ended up going with the 76 series Land Cruiser, just because of all the tough tracks that we're planning to do. And of course, a 70 series Land Cruiser is known to handle a couple of bumps here and there at your local Woolies car park. Typical. Now onto the third point, which is probably the most important out of all of them. It had to be reliable. Now, Toyota in Australia have a really good support network behind them. You can pretty much find parts anywhere in Australia, which is absolutely awesome. We didn't want to be dealing with broken down on the side of the road somewhere and have to wait a few weeks for a different part that might have had to come from overseas, which is why we went with the Toyota Land Cruiser. Now the fourth and final point was the vehicle needed to be a relatively blank slate. And when I say a blank slate, this one already had a bull bar, the lift, the tires, and all the other bar work that we would probably get anyway, which makes our job way easier because now there's wait times on suspension and other components like that. It makes our job incredibly easy. So now we can just go ahead and throw gear at it. We're gonna be doing an awesome back storage setup. We're gonna be doing some other stuff on the roof, which we'll definitely be doing a build series for. Now, if you guys have any ideas on what you think we should do to this thing in terms of modifications in the back storage setup or even other modifications, whatever it might be, leave us a comment down below because at the end of the day, it's you guys that make these videos possible. So we're dead keen to hear exactly what you want to see and what you think we should do to it. So go ahead, jump in the comments down below and let rip. I cannot wait to get into this thing. So let's just have a look at the car. So a little bit more on the rig itself. It's a 2014 model, obviously Toyota Land Cruiser 76 series wagon. It's twin locked from factory with 130 liters of fuel, which is absolutely perfect for what we're gonna be doing, especially the tracks that we're going to and the remote locations we're planning to take it. Now, because it's a 2014 model, that means it's a pre-DPF model, which is awesome for a couple of reasons, but most important of those reasons is it sounds absolutely unreal. Now, as I previously mentioned, it's already got a lift kit around two inches, which is absolutely perfect. We didn't need to go more than that. Now, the tires are 285 75R16s, or more commonly referred to as about 33 inches. Of course, we've still got the factory alloys, but that might change down the track. And again, if you've got any ideas on a wheel combo set up for us, leave a comment down below as well. Now, let's have a quick look under the bonnet here. You all probably know it's a four and a half liter V8 diesel, single turbo, reliable and powerful engine. But the more important thing I wanted to show you under here is it's already got provisions for a secondary battery. Now, a lot of people would go ahead and put another deep cycle battery in there and run fridges and whatever else on that, but we're not gonna go down that track. Instead, we're probably gonna put another starter battery in there so that we've got two cranking batteries, which is gonna be awesome because we're gonna be doing a lot of winching plus a lot of night driving and we use a lot of camp lights as well as leaving the spotlights on to set gear up in the middle of the night. Now, part of the process of choosing a new project was at first, we wanted a new car, so something brand new. We were looking at Y62s, but it was a bit out of the picture because one, the wait time on those is just ridiculous, up to a 12 month wait. For this thing as well, to be completely honest, I pretty much called every single dealer in New South Wales and Queensland for Nissan and Toyota, and they all wished me good luck in trying to find one. So it was a bit out of the picture. 
Um, and in terms of buying a second hand Y62, the price of those has just gone through the roof. To give you a bit of an idea, my sister bought one brand spanking new last year. She paid around 72, 73, something like that for it. Now, if she was to sell it today with 40,000 Ks on it and a bull bar and airbags in the back, she would probably get upwards of 85 grand, which is just ridiculous. So it's not really worth it. But at the end of the day, it didn't really come down to price. It was more just what was available. And this happened to be a fairly decent buy Although there's no such thing as a really good deal on a 70 series Land Cruiser in my opinion, we did pick this up for a decent price considering the market today. And again, it was available for fresh delivery. So there you go guys, that's the new Adventure King 76 series that we're gonna be working on in the next year. We're gonna be throwing gear at it like there's no tomorrow and we cannot wait to turn it into the absolute touring weapon that it is. But before we start throwing gear at it, we're probably gonna drive it around for a few weeks figure out exactly what we like and what we don't like about it. And at the end, we're gonna give our thoughts and our opinions on the 76 series. So Khan and I will probably sit down and have a good yarn about that. So remember to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you get notified exactly when we do that. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, leave us a comment down below of what you think we should do to the big 76. Cheers.